This is uh, the bathroom sink that I have to share with Bill Will. Um, I call him Bill Will because I'm kind of confused on what to call him because um, I was told his name is Bill, but then he wants to be called Will, so I just call him Bill Will. Um, or I could call him Asshole, which is more, much more appropriate. But um, anyway, so this is a sink I share with him, and there is absolutely nothing that belongs to me on this sink because there really isn't any room for me to put anything. But if you notice where everything is placed, that's his toothpaste. Um, everything is required to stay in where it is right now. If the brush gets moved from here, he gets upset, so I move it back. Um, or he moves it back, I'm sorry. Those, his children's toothpaste must be sitting there. I can't slide it back here to get it out of the way, to make a little room. Can't be that. And even though his children are only here four days out of an entire month, their toothpaste needs to be there. Now, he, there's just four of them. There's uh, his three kids and himself, but they have eight toothbrushes. Now he says that the other two brushes are back up. I'm not sure what back up means on two brushes. Usually I keep mine in the cabinet in a shelf or something. Um, anyway, the hand soap has to go there because he says that's where the soap goes. Even though this sink is not made for this kind of soap, you can see it's made for bar soap. That has to go there. So, which makes things difficult when you go to turn on a water faucet. It falls. So I would come in and I would do that and also with this lotion because I can't turn on that without that being away so I'll move the lotion aside um, but he'll have a fit so everything has to be where he wants it even though it's not his house and uh, we have to share the bathroom those candles are his they have to be just like that uh, they can't be like moved out of the way and off the sink now. You can see I have very limited space to put anything of mine on here. So I have my things, like my cosmetic bag I have. So if I'm getting dressed and um, you know, I have to pull out my things, my cosmetics, and, and, you know, and then there's my... Um, case of my toothbrush, my little caddy with my um, face wash and the toothbrush and all that stuff. Uh, so uh, you see I have to end up moving his things aside a little bit to make room. And then if I want to bring out the um, uh, hair dryer and curling iron, uh, kind of, well, I don't have any more space. <laughs> so what I end up doing is, is um, putting my makeup bag all the way over here on the toilet. <laughs> um, I have been where I have um, in the past, oops, <laughs> I'm making a mess now. In the past when I've gotten gotten dressed and putting on my cosmetics and if I leave the bathroom for a second, he will actually walk in behind me and take my things and do that and put them aside. So, um, so, so therefore, I just, um, I'll just move it over here and, and kind of work from the stuff over there. And that way I have, you know, I put my car and iron here, have to move his toothbrush, clean his toothpaste, and, you know, um, work with that, move this over here, and at least that way I can blow dry and curl my hair now. There's the outlet. And as long as I make sure that once I'm done, I replace everything back where it's supposed to, to be. Now, this also makes it difficult when I clean because I'm the only one that cleans. He never cleans. I clean the toothpaste that's splattered all over the, the uh, mirror from his kids and the mess around the sink. I'm the only one that's always cleaning. And, um, you know, usually when I clean, I like to kind of you know, make things so I can clean the sink. So tonight I'm just going to try to catch him because he is going to uh, go berserk because I'm going to clean the sink and I'm going to 
We're, actually, I'm not even going to move his, his children's toothpaste. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to put the to his brush back where it's supposed to go. I'm going to leave the toothpaste there. I'm just going to move the lotion and the hand soap. That's it. Those are the only two items I'm going to move. And I guarantee you, tonight he's going to go totally ballistic and behave like a 19-year-old child on crack. Okay.